Your Hello. public nickname is Fergie. Everyone in public calls you that. What's your private nickname? Uh, Dutchy Doodle. Dutchy Doodle? Mm -hmm. Who calls you that? Not many. Not but, yeah, I like it. What, what? I like it. Uh, Dutch. Uh, Dutch. And, and then Fergie's fine. I answer to many things, really. I think Dutchy Doodle is really don't you, the best. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like Dutchy Doodle. Oh, well, but they, never mind. Because they, 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 really, they, this is really interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's real life, baby. I guess we're in New York. So because you were branded... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Gracie, would you like to weigh in? So, yeah. okay. Sorry. So, back, so you're back branded to this, this, this red-headed wild yes. woman. Yes. Now, have you had to live up to that wild child reputation because of your hair? Or has your hair just really complimented who you actually are? I, I used to hate it, but now I love it. I love it. I mean, when, when I became, in 1986, when I became a princess, it took quite a while because you could never be anonymous and I've never been anonymous ever since. Were and you anonymous before? Not really. I mean, yes, I, but because I, Diana was my best friend. My own character is very, very strong, as you probably know. And, um, and it, I'm very stratospherically sensitive. And yet I have this great humor which gets me through everything. And I've never taken an antidepressant in my life, which is, I mean, not that it's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just that I, I just believe that at the end of the day, I'll have a glass of wine, put my feet up and say, this too shall pass. So you and wine with a glass of wine? Yes, red wine, because even losing weight, I just lost 55 pounds at 55. Fergie fit at 55, cool. Fergie fit at 55. 55. It might be up to 60 pounds now. Um, Where are you going? I mean, how, when does it stop? Uh, it stops when I run down the beach in a bikini. Do yes. you then set up certain shots, like paparazzi follows you, and are you like, oh, I really want to yeah. make this point, so allow me to... No, because I don't let the newspapers or, or, or paparazzi or anything, they don't... They, I, I'm just lucky to be on a public stage. Prince Andrew put me here, you know, he married me, and the best thing ever happened to me. Is it the dream that you thought it was going to be? The dream was marrying him. That was a dream. And then I had two beautiful girls. Why do you call it the best thing that's ever happened to you? Because I'm married for love. Totally for love. You still love the prince, even though he's your ex, it seems yes, like. Yes, he's my best friend. And we, we, we live in the same house. We are the happiest divorced couple in the world. We live in the same house. You realize yeah. how weird that is, right? Yeah, well, it's quite a big it's house. Big house. <laughs> and I think that uh, Birch and Eugenie, my children, are so centered and confident because they have one foot on with, with me, who's bonkers and mad, and another foot with their father, who's, who's very disciplined and, very, and, and, and is a member of the royal family. And you're a member of the royal family? Uh, no. Once removed? Ex. Is that, mm. God, was that an awful transition to be in court and, you know, in it and be one of the royals and then suddenly not? It, it, well, it was um, the most important thing is, of course, the front page said, you know, Duchess of Pork. 82% would rather sleep with the goat than Fergie. So you then start eating your way out of it. Weight is exterior, and you are clearly so much more. But how do you feel knowing that really the world is consumed with your weight, with your exterior, not your interior? What would you rather have people Well, that's on? why now we're doing Duchess Discoveries, which is a website. I did it in order to um, to go and seek out the best advice and the best help. Now I want to be a place where people can come and ask me and talk to me and say, okay, so you obviously lost this, how did you do it? So that I'm, I'm just a vehicle, I'm an agent for change, so that anyone on the street can come to me and say, yeah, but it's all right for you, you've got a, a trainer. I, really, did I? Let's see, can you not walk around the block? Consider setting steps per day goals and reward yourself when you meet them. Let's say, things change, you break your leg, you can't work out, you end up gaining a bunch of weight. Is that gonna be a sign that you're not happy or are you able to be happy inside whether you're 190 or 90? The good news is, is that it's gonna be very difficult for me to put the weight back on because I don't use food anymore. I was an addict to food. Yeah, yeah. I know, and it's yeah. hard because, oh. The, oh! Heavens. She's telling me to wrap up. Well, is listen, she? Is thank she? you for sharing your story. Was it boring? Were we boring? I, I don't know if we were boring. She, however, is freezing. Oh. <coughs> and, oh and, and, and she's upset that you uh, are talking. talking about weight because she oh. feels like she's a little heavy. Okay. So um, she's okay. going to go on your website. And uh, next time you Duchess come back, she'll, yeah, she'll she can like call her Duchess. Owl.